Guys, there is a non-violent way to go about this. With the launch of the new and improved Bard, the comparison between the popular generative AI tool ChatGPT by OpenAI and Google's Bard is inevitable. And that's exactly what we are going to explore in this video. ChatGPT can be accessed by anyone who has any email address. And Bard requires a Google account to sign up. Next up, the language models. ChatGPT is powered by GPT-4 model, whereas for BARD, Google has used Lambda, that is, language model for dialogue applications, alongside Palm 2 AI language model. So where do these respective tools get their information from? ChatGPT is pre-trained on a large set of data, and it includes information from books, articles, common crawl, and websites like Wikipedia, while Google is trained on Infinisit.lambda. It encompasses data from common crawl, articles, books, and Wikipedia, just like ChatGPT, but here's where it gets better. BARD is trained on a massive data set of text and code that fetches real-time information from the internet and provides more up-to-date answers to all of your queries. Now, talking about the pricing, ChatGPT is free for all users, and GPT Plus service charges users $20, that is close to 1,700 rupees per month. BARD is free for all of the users currently, and this might change in the future. It is said and also felt that BARD is more human-like in its responses. The tool is purportedly designed for dialogues, whereas ChatGPT is good at processing textual information. Since BARD is still in its developmental stages, the information produced by BARD can be inaccurate and biased. In the same beat, ChatGPT is relatively accurate for the timeline until 2021. With the usage of these two tools, certain things are evident. BARD has voice search capability that ChatGPT lacks. Additionally, BARD produces multiple drafts for the same question at once and allows you to regenerate or Google stuff, while ChatGPT produces a single response that can be regenerated. With BARD, you can export responses to Google Docs or Gmail, and this enables editing on the go, while ChatGPT allows you to export the responses that will be sent as a copy to your email address. To put these two tools to test, I asked the same questions and here were the responses. To conclude, both BARD and ChatGPT have their own advantages and pitfalls. It all boils down to the user's goals and preferences as to what works best for them. I hope this video helped. Do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to AIM YouTube channel for more such interesting content.